Hello, so I just got back from uh, visiting family and friends, Christmas, New Year, and um, it's now about six months until we move. So I've decided to use January as like a kickstart to start decluttering and just kind of go th through things slightly. We got a lot of cosmetics for Christmas, so it's like the perfect time to go through um, the bathroom. So decluttering the bathroom today. I also got this book for Christmas, it's called Plant Based Beauty. Um, and it's really exciting actually, because it's all about natural beauty. And I've got really into uh, skincare in the last uh, year. And I also got a book for Christmas for like bath rituals. And so yeah, that's really exciting. So I'm excited to try some of these recipes and I'm really trying to like use up the products I have and almost like reset my zero waste life and habits because I feel like me and my partner have kind of lost track of that a bit. So yeah, I'm excited about this book though. Let me know if you've read it or whatever and let's get into um, my declutter. We got quite a lot of cosmetics for Christmas, which is great because I needed some, um, but they all need to go somewhere. This is basically entirely soap and some more leave-in conditioner some zero wasty bits so i need to organize those i also got a new wash kit for christmas well actually it's not new i think it's from vintage but it was like unused and i got some new like makeup -y bits so i just need to figure out where they're all going to live and i do have some bits coming in the post just another lush cleansing bar for my partner a lush concealer stick and a Zao empty makeup palette for my eyeshadows because they're just loose right now in the cupboard and that's not good. So um, yeah, gonna wait for those to do the makeup, but I am gonna try and put the soap away. So I usually keep all my soaps in this, like, I don't know what it is, what do you call it? It's like a little metal box. I think I'm gonna give this a little wash and then put all of my new soaps in here, which is where I've been keeping them. So I've got all these like sample soaps, got some other soaps, <laughs> and these ones I made myself from soap scraps, um, and then I've got this um, exfoliating bar that I'm just going to put in there that I found in a charity shop. Oh lovely, this is quite a chunky piece of soap, look how big that is. I also have this bag here, which is all of our extras, like extra, um, these are like recyclable toothbrush heads, uh, sun creams, yeah, just like some more cosmetics that we've collected over time, um, and I really need to start getting through them, so I just need to empty this out. <laughs> This is some shaving cream, um, so I'm going to keep that out and use that up soon, and use that up, um, just some cloths and stuff, I need to find a different way of that. This is a baby toothbrush that I don't like, so I think I'm going to give that to my little um, cousin, all my wild deodorant things, I actually need a new one. So, coconut vanilla, fresh cotton sea salt, or cinnamon and nutmeg. Cinnamon and nutmeg, it's still Christmas. I'm gonna get everything out of the cupboard and give it a clean. This huge pile of reusable toilet paper in here. And I think we're running low on normal toilet paper, so I should probably sort that out as well. But this lives up here, and then I'll go and get another toilet paper. Or two. In this jar I just have coffee grounds. They are running very low. I use them as like an exfoliant. Um, this is really old, like out of date coffee. And then I have this singular candle that I use in the bath. It lights up my friend bought me. It's pretty cool. I would like to find a jar to put these in actually. Uh, this is almost finished. But I put this in the jar, so see that. This is travel. Um, wash kit. And I might put my travel wash kit in his because we usually travel together. Morning. So the postman just came 
and I haven't ordered anything apart from the, my uh, thing from Lush and a makeup palette from Zao. I think this is from Zao. But it's like, I literally ordered it yesterday. I didn't pay for the express delivery. Always baffles me because I don't order anything from Amazon. So I'm not used to things coming like really quickly. Um, especially with things, oh, I'm just gonna have to rip get into this box. Oh, these must be starchy. Yeah. Oh, they're corn. Mm. Oh yeah, I, li I cannot believe it. Yeah, it came so quickly. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh, how lovely. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do the washing and then I'm going to put my makeup away in this. So this is what it looks like. Looks lovely. And this is my current makeup palette. Um, it's really nice. I've had it for a couple of years. Um, buying the refills for this is really expensive. And yeah, I'm just not about that. And it's really chunky. I mean, it probably just needs a clean, but you can see it doesn't like close properly. Um, it's just not, to be honest with you, it's just not a very good design. And it'd be nice to have a mirror. The Zao one, which I have, is this one here. It is 132. It's like a nice orangey. I put it on my lids today, just. Yeah, really nice. You can see it's already been damaged just by not being, just by being loose. So that's going to be the first one in. Oh, very nice. And you can just like rearrange them. And yeah, so it'll, this is the medium size. Um, it will fit loads, to be honest with you. Beautiful. Because see, it's like way too big for how much I have. So this is it now. This does work really well. It doesn't really fit well in here though. I really would like to move my makeup into the bedroom because neither of us work in the bedroom anymore or anything like that. So it'd be quite good. But I'll probably do that in like a bedroom organized sort out. So stay tuned. But otherwise that's all good. I actually don't have a jar to put this in. I was going to, but it's being used for my pickled red cabbage. Um, but all my soaps are in here and bath bombs. Um, I might keep them in there, I'm not sure, just because the other one's a bit smaller, and then coffee grounds, uh, these thingies, and I just put them. But everything fits nicely, these are our travel wash kits, and not anything in, this just has all our extras, it's my period bag, this is all of our like hair removal, so my partner cuts his own hair, or that's all in there, my epilator, uh, trimmer, stuff like that. And then this is our water flosser. So that's quite good that there isn't like an excess of stuff there. Um, yeah, I just need to clean this bathroom and figure out what we're doing with toothpaste because we're currently using ones we find in TK Maxx, like vegan ones, um, because our local zero waste shop stopped selling tooth tabs and they're, I don't know, they seem to be more expensive online than they were from uh, the zero waste shop. So, just need to figure that out, um, and then yeah, clean these, figure out what to do with these, um, just need to give the bathroom a clean and work our way through all of this stuff. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this like mini declutter of my bathroom and organise, New Year's organise. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!